it's just been hard with running because there's no competitions unless virtual to look forward to. And that's usually how I motivate myself. We go straight from cross country, right into track. And then after track, I have outdoor, like just fun runs and competitions that I win money in. Lannon Swartz hasn't won any money this year, but he's hoping now that the government is easing back on restrictions, he can at least get back to training properly. At the start of the year, some of state's teams were able to have practices, but as soon as cases started to rise and restrictions increased, practices were quickly put to a stop. Uh, so in September, we had two practices a week, uh, and then that ended in mid-October. They haven't said anything just with how things have been with all the restrictions. Restrictions have been a huge setback for state athletics as a whole. Athletic director Wade Colmel says he will be happy to see some of his athletes get back to some sort of normal. State athletics is going to start by dealing with our recreation properties, like our Cobos Common, our soccer field. That is a, a first step for us. Colmo also says that the future of competitions will rely heavily on the distribution of the COVID-19 vaccine. We're betting on the vaccine. Um, the barriers to what we do include things like food handling and meal preparation. Um, bus travel and transportation.